Hey Capricorn, welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. I'm Amanda. This is going to be your reading for August 2019, starting at the new moon in Leo on July 31st. So um, before I even go here, I just have to tell you <laughs> some like, wild things happening happened as I was shuffling your cards. First, and just go on this trip with me because it's kind of someone outside and it sounded like a grown person but they were screaming like a child and they were outside screaming mom mom and they might have been saying bob <laughs> but what i heard was mom mom and i'm telling you this went on the entire shuffle. And I shuffled one, two, three, four, five, six decks for you in prep for this reading. <laughs> so that was bizarre. And then like, as I was shuffling, I got this image of you in, I wanna say a not so fun house. <laughs> you know, like a fun house, but it was, it's not so fun which I don't ever think those things are fun, but anyway. You're in this house of mirrors, mainly. It's just like mirrors, 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 mirrors all over the place. And you are actually going around these corners in this labyrinth of mirrors, I think, screaming, Mom, for whatever reason. And it feels like your adult self, but like I hear the child you um, screaming mom, mom, mom. Something about your mother or like mothering energy. And then, so you're going through these mirrors and you don't know what's real and you keep running into yourself but it's like distorted images of yourself and you and it's like causing you to panic like the feelings of panicky were very real and then we i got to this we because i was like on this journey with you we got to the end <clears throat> end of this maze and you were there and it's like i'm trying to help you understand what i saw it's just like this long banquet hall And there was a table in the middle, but it was like, it was empty. No one was there. Very kind of medieval, but like gorgeous. I mean, this hall was like, the, the ceilings were so high and everything was white. And you're like walking down this long, long, long banquet hall with like arches and like everything is so beautiful and you get to the end and it's almost like this it was the sensation of we're about to see we're about to meet the wizard you know like who's the man behind the curtain we're about to meet the wizard and then you just what was there was was actually like it's like the curtain is lifted and it's just another mirror and and I like I'm with you I, I felt the eye roll and the frustration <laughs> But honestly, that's what that is the the wizard behind the curtain. Like it's not some sort of devil. It's not some sort of this. It's not some sort of that. It's it's just you. Okay, that's what I got. Uh, let's get into your reading. <laughs> let's get into your reading. After all that fun house of mirrors and not seeing, not being able to see yourself clearly, you finally get to this banquet hall that is empty and you get to the end and you can see yourself clearly. And you've been the one orchestrating this this whole time. And it's, it is it is a feeling of relief and it's also a feeling of like you becoming the magician, you becoming the wizard, you stepping into your power. It's a big moment. It's a moment of revelation. Anyway, Capricorn. So, um, what we see here 
oh gosh, sorry, I just keep getting more about this um, mirrors thing. Like maybe you're screaming mom, so you're in there, you're screaming mom and all you're seeing is distorted images of yourself. So that might be significant for someone, like either your image of yourself as like a mother or a nurturing figure is like distorted, um, maybe because of the way you were nurtured, you know, like the way you were nurtured has caused you to not be able to see yourself clearly. Okay, I gotta move on from that. But here's the thing. We've got the Ace of Coins, which is a new opportunity. A new opportunity, it could be anything. It could, it, it you know, the Ace of Coins is more all-encompassing than the other Aces because it's a seed. A seed is a potential for something to, that is long-term sustainability. This Whatever this seed is, whether it's work, whether it's um, love, whether it's whatever, family, it has the potential to sustain you for a long time and spirit, this haloed bird, is bringing it in for you. Center top of your reading. So this is on your mind, but it's, you're like not take, it doesn't feel like you're taking this opportunity because you feel like torn between two energies. So flanking this ace of coins, we've got Sagittarius and Taurus energy. These could be people that you're dealing with in your life for sure. So take that if it resonates. But what I felt more was like the need for freedom, which is Sagittarius. Higher philosophy of freedom. And the need for home. The need for to be surrounded um, by what roots you and what you find to be beautiful and what yeah what feels like home what is nurturing for you like where you can plant those seeds the earth that you can plant those seeds in and here's the north star up there which just keeps coming out in every reading for you is this star energy so it's like you you're torn between your your need for freedom or your desire for freedom or your like philosophic ideas because Sagittarius is philosophy, it's higher thinking, it's um, higher mindedness and it's also freedom. It's it's like Sagittarius wants to go tra hop on a train tomorrow and travel to who cares where, I don't know, let's pick a random place. Have you been to Moscow? Me neither, let's go. That's Sag energy. So you're kind of like torn between rootedness um, which kind of feels like your destiny to you or feels like a, a North Star, like a guiding point, and your need to roam, your need to, like, get the hell out. They are, move seem to be, for you in this reading, moving in opposite directions because the Sagittarius energy, like this centaur with a bow and arrow, is pointing this way, and Taurus, the bull, is moving this way. So here you are at this crossroads. For yourself and it feels like a real battle right under the Sag energy we have the seven of wands which is a, like a fight I think you're fighting with yourself about this it seems like an internal battle could be external as well there could be some external forces coming in and you feel defensive and you feel like you have to defend yourself it's definitely defensive energy so you're defensive about your freedom <laughs> you're really feeling defensive about about um, your like higher philosophy feeling the need to defend that within yourself, with outside of you, defensive. And then here on the Taurus side of things, we've got love, Page of Cups. This is you, first of all, like dropping into your intuition, that here's the cave, the watery cave of intuition. And you know I love talking about the sea goat, how the goat is half fish, has that fish tail and here you are that half human, half fish. Holding two tulips. See that? Beautiful. Those tulips are about falling in love. Those are, those are two people who want to fall in love. Love, home, sense of destiny. That's all the things that are happening over here. And then you're, you're torn seems you're torn I don't think you know which way to go let's see what else we can get for you cap what's at the center of this reading for Capricorn 
cancer. Yeah, I mean, I've been talking about home. I've been waiting for cancer energy to come out, frankly. This is very unusual, like, not, it's not often that we get this many Zodiac cards from this deck. So, Cancer, where you hang your hat. How, what is home to you, Cap? What does home mean to you? Who is home to you? What is home to you? Where are you trying to plant your seeds? That's what's up. That's the question. And we just had these eclipses on the Cancer Capricorn axis. And here we are with their Cancer Capricorn dynamic playing out. So what have you been dealing with? What have you been grappling with? What have you been fighting with over the last month? Because here it is in this reading for all, still, still playing out in August. Cancer. Oh, interesting too, because Cancer's mothering energy. And I heard in that whatever vision thing that I had, mother, mom, mom. And it felt like it was connected to your mother. It felt like it was also connected to the way you mother and like nurturing mothering energy within you that perhaps like feels distorted or you're afraid of. Because here's the thing about cancers. And if you know a cancer, you know what I'm talking about. Immense capacity for love, immense heart, and also a staunch need to defend that. You know, it's like they know they can get taken advantage of. And so they're going to defend that. Check it out with the spears. Defend that. Oh, gosh, this is fascinating. We have a crab with a spear representing the home. And then, like, see the Sagittarius card, how there's an arrow, the bow and arrow. In the Cancer card, we also have an arrow coming in. Do you see that? So it's almost like... The, the here's the two sides of you at war again in this card the part of you that wants to create a home for your heart and like defend that home from this other part of you that just like is the arrow is the sag wants to go wants to be free wants to do whatever they want wants to be unattached I'm not saying all sag is like that but that's that's the energy coming through for you Wow, here's the battle. This is the battle. And all of this is happening over like the your emotions, cancer emotions. This is this is we just got out of cancer season, so you know, I'm sure. Crying, 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 you know? Like this is the emotional waters of cancer are very deep and they take no prisoners. <laughs> they take no prisoners. You know, this like hall of mirrors that you have been in is no joke. And and here we have the moon showing up. So I, I think you're in your emotions. You really don't know what to do. Um, I think these moons have been a lot. It seems like the eclipses and all of that. It's been a lot for you, Cap. Ooh, let's see if we can get some more details. Okay. All right. What else for Cap? Good God, what did I say? Water. More water. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> it's good. I mean, listen, it's good because the, the emotional <sighs> floodgates, because that's really what this is. This is like the, the iceberg, which is frozen water, frozen emotions breaking. That's what I see in this card is the iceberg breaks and then <sighs> like rushes into the ocean and creates a massive wave massive tidal wave oh wow okay interesting and I'm realizing that I did um so I do tarot scopes for radical tarot radical tarot scopes go look them up online Chauvin is awesome but anyway um I did one for Capricorn for Leo season and you know what it was a turtle <laughs> on the shore a, with a huge tidal wave behind the turtle about to crash. Capricorn. Okay. Wow. Go read that telescope because here it is showing up again in your in in our reading here on the channel for Leo season. 
emotions, my friend. Oh my gosh, water, earth. Is this gonna be like all elements down here at the bottom? I mean, this is you, Cap, here you are in your earth. And it's coming out right under Ace of Coins, Cancer, Earth. Like, your emotions are the centerpiece here. Your emotions and questions about home. What is a home for your heart? This is the centerpiece of what you are dealing with here in Leo season, here in the month of August. I think what you have been dealing with. What is home to you? And your emotions are the key. The, the emotions that you feel, this like floodgate that wants to burst open. Your emotions are, are a, a clue for you, I think. Because we've got the emotional intuitive waters of the Page of Cups, which is also talking about like sharing your heart, falling in love. We've got Taurus, which is earth energy, a, a sense of rootedness, a sense of home, a sense of, um, of taking care of business in like a beautiful, enjoyable, sensual way. And here we have more earth energy. This is all about grounding your emotions at this time and grounding your emotions Damn it, I almost cursed, okay? Grounding your emotions, Cap, does not mean freezing them. Because this is the problem. This is the issue. This is that tidal wave in that other reading that I did. This is the, this is the sense that I'm feeling from this water card. You, you think being grounded means freezing your emotions. If that's the case, then you just have to wait for the energy to build up so much that this iceberg cracks and floods in and causes a tidal wave and that is not balanced you know like that nobody wants a tidal wave it's just that's a lot it's a lot for you to handle and you shouldn't have to have to um keep dealing with these tidal waves so grounding your emotions means expressing them as they happen allowing them to come up really like taking a rooted approach and really getting down to brass tacks because that's what earth element is all about all right getting down to brass tacks and saying okay i need to look at this i need to look at my emotions i need to face them regularly i need to see what they're trying to tell me we'll get clarity on all this let's get another card for capricorn this is strange reading oh Exciting. We are ending on a note here that is mysterious and quite interesting. Here we have the Eight of Wands. This is incoming. Incoming communication. A flood of communication, but it but it's wands. It's fiery. It's passionate. It's intense. Um, these are called Cupid's Arrows, and it's coming out right under the Page of Cups. So I think it's about love, and we have the flower here. This is quick incoming communication. Something coming. This could be you communicating quickly. This could be something coming from outside of you. Some news arriving that is news to you regarding love. But it's fast communication. Interesting. Let's get some clarity. My instinct is to reach for the Aquarian Tarot. So let's use that to clarify your situation here, Cap. So the first bit of clarity we're going to get. <clears throat> I actually, all right, let's start with Cancer. It's right at the center of your reading. Let's figure out what Cancer energy is here to tell you, Cap. What's Cancer energy here for Capricorn? Why is Cancer energy here for Capricorn? gosh poor thing okay the nine of wands this is somebody that has been enduring a situation for a very long time they're beat up they're exhausted they're so tired physically mentally i think i pulled this card for you before in a couple readings ago physically mentally emotionally just like beat up maybe even like yeah you're just you're you're just exhausted Oh, I think these emotional waters of cancer season have exhausted you. That could very simply be what, what that is saying. But this constant debate about like, where is home for you? Where is home for you? Where is home for you? I just like feel you being really exhausted from that. You know, cancer, it's more mothering, mother energy, nurturing energy. And there we have that, that image right from the start of your reading of the Hall of Mirrors. I think you're just exhausted from this. Whatever it is you're dealing with. 
Hi, Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, this is a love offering. This is a love offering. This is a new opportunity in love. This is a vehicle, a, a, a container rather, for your love. And the reason I said vehicle was because there feels like there's momentum behind it. It feels like it's, it is like an active offering. I won't be surprised if, if the um, Knight of Cups comes up in this reading. <sighs> this is a container for all those emotions, all of those feelings in your heart. Here it is, the happy container. Happy, look at the sun. The happy container for all of your emotions. Oh, what is home for you? Here's the container for your emotions. Home is a container for your emotions. And you have to create that within yourself before you can create that outside of you. You know, so like you want freedom, you want stability, like cool. You can have both of those things. The way that you get both of those things is by creating a, a container for your own emotions that, that allows you to be at home with your emotions in yourself. I just saw 21, 21, which adds up to three, three, which adds up to six, three, an energy of spiritual awakening of receiving abundance. Okay, six, an energy of spiritual reunion, friendship, of relating. Okay. And then, of course, we have the two and the one, two being partnership, one being solo. There's your debate. Partnership, solo, partnership, solo. Freedom, partnership, freedom, partnership. That's the debate I'm feeling here for you, Cal. Okay, um, so let's get clarity on this Ace of Coins. What's the opportunity here? Mm, no, before we do that, I need to get clarity on Sagittarius and Taurus, and then we can clarify the Ace of Coins. Okay, so first, let's clarify Sag energy. Why is Sag energy here for Capricorn? Why is Sagittarius here for Capricorn in August? So your desire for freedom, your desire for movement is being like, it, you're, it, you're stuck. You want to move and yet you're stuck. Here's holding on energy. See this? It's like someone that's blocked off their, they're like blocked off their heart chakra, blocked off their third eye chakra, like holding on to their pentacles, not wanting to let go. This is stuck, kind of rigid energy. This is also Capricorn energy. I think it's um, four of pentacles, I think is sun and Capricorn. Pretty sure. So here you are showing up, um, stuck in the mud, holding on, not wanting to let go. And here you are, um, wanting to build something, and this is collaborating with others, by the way. Um, this is wanting to build a firm foundation. So it's just speaking more to this battle that you have of like, holding onto what you have, but feeling the need to move, but wanting to build something solid but feeling the need to move, you know, it's just, I think it just keeps kind of speaking about that. Um, okay, let's get some clar clarity, clarity. Let's get some clarity on Taurus. Why is Taurus here for Capricorn? What's this Taurus energy? Queen of Swords. This could be a person if you have a Taurus in your life or someone with Taurus in their chart. Queen of Swords energy, this is someone that um, knows their truth. They know their truth. They know their inner truth. Um, they know what their needs are, and they will advocate for those needs. They will defend those needs. This, the Cancer energy feels similar because it's like holding this spear. I feel like you're needing to get clear on what your truth is. Get clear on your truth. There's also beauty here, so much beauty, which feels like that Taurus energy with all these blooms. Get clear on your truth. Get clear on what you need. 
you know, it's like this question that I'm sure is annoying you now because I've been asking it, but what is home for you, Kat? What's your truth inside? What do you need? What does your heart need? And then like, what do you need to do to defend your heart? You know, what do you need to do to advocate for that? There's something that you want to build in collaboration with other people. And you need the freedom to do that. I can see that here with the Sag energy. But it's like your, your heart needs something too. What's your inner truth? Ah, okay. What's the Ace of Coins doing here for Capricorn? I knew it was going to come up for you. Here's the star. It's come up in every reading. Here's that North Star. You got to follow that North Star. And I think this opportunity that's coming your way is your North Star. This is spirit trying to drop major hints for you as to like your direction and where where that North Star is leading you. So whatever new opportunity comes your way, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Also, uh, ha, 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 not done yet. Don't be afraid of this new opportunity because this star card is also a card about having faith. Having faith and trusting that it's all gonna work out. Daring to hope. So whatever this new beginning is that you can feel, maybe you can feel it already. Maybe you can see it there for the taking, but you just haven't taken it because you're holding on. Trust, hope, faith. Dare to hope in this. Dare to have faith in this. Dare to have faith in the nurturing of this seed and what nurturing that seed could truly bring for you. Nurturing cancer energy. Not to bring up a potentially sore subject. Um, okay. Um, Seven of Wands, why are you defending? What are you defending? What's this defensive energy? What's this fighting energy? Okay, we have the Moon and the Ace of Swords here. Um, again, Cancer energy with the Moon. Ace of Swords, that sort of truth. I don't think you can see your truth. I think that's your inner fight. Your inner battle is like, what's my truth? What's my truth? What's my truth? And it's hard to see that. You need to drop into your intuition here. When the moon is out, we can't see the way forward. When the sun is out, we can see. When the moon is out, we can't necessarily see everything except what the moon lights. So it's like all is not seen. Truth needs to be revealed. Some truth needs to be revealed. I'm lo Here's looking at you, Eight of Wands. Some truth needs to be revealed is not yet revealed. You're trying to find your inner truth. You're trying to find your inner truth. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. What's this page of cups here for Cap? What's the page of cups doing? Whoa, flying out of the deck. Okay, seven of swords, ouch. Seven of swords is an energy of lying to yourself. Um, that's a harsh way of putting it, for sure. Uh, I'll put it more like this, like I did with the Seven of Wands. It's like, you can't, it's hard for you to see the truth. It's hard for you to see the truth. And that's present in, this, in the Seven of Swords, like not quite being able to see the whole truth here. Something about this situation. There's also a card of walking away. I mean, look at this. Clearly someone is walking away with all these swords and leaving these two behind and feels sad about it. So it, it actually has more Eight of Cups energy, this particular card. I don't know. Let's get some more clarity on the Page of Cups energy for you, Cap. Maybe you're scared. Seven of Swords might be fear. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. You always get this card too, confusion. Feeling like you have so many options that you're confused or, or your, your imagination is so great that you can imagine so many different possibilities and it's like paralyzing, you know? 
you're overwhelmed, really, really overwhelmed with this card. Um, maybe trying to escape. It's a, it's a card of escapism a lot. Here you are here in um, Four of Cups energy. You're unsatisfied with where you are. Divine is trying to offer you another opportunity. Divine is trying to offer you an opportunity that's got your destiny kind of written all over it here with that North Star, North Star. Um, but all you can see is the situation you're in, which you're unsatisfied with, you're bored, you're not happy. And this is sort of the energy of this card. It's like I walked away with all these swords, but I'm not happy. I left these two behind. I got all these, but I'm not happy. Oh, interesting. I have all these, but I'm not happy. More options doesn't necessarily equal happiness. Strength. All this coming out under Page of Cups. I think this is your Page of Cups dilemma. You know, it's like to fall in love or not to fall in love. Or like um, to offer my heart or not to offer my heart. These are all the things you're thinking about. Strength is facing what you fear. Facing what you fear with an open heart. And here we have an open heart expression of falling in love. I think falling in love is what terrifies you. Water. Might as well. We're here. Let's get some clarity on water for Capricorn. Water energy. The water element that's here for Capricorn. What does this mean for Capricorn? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Here's your card. The devil. Um, the devil feeling bound, feeling chained, feeling stuck, feeling tied to something. I think your emotions scare you because your feelings make you feel tied. Or perhaps there is an emotional situation in your life that is currently binding you that you feel tied to. You want to break free of because here we have this under the Sagittarius energy. Breaking free. Hmm. You know, devil is shadow energy. The parts of you that you're afraid of. Um, you're so, and I already said this, you're afraid of falling in love. I think you're afraid of your emotions. Which is why I felt like the frozen, so drawn to the frozen energy. You're afraid of your emotions and that fear, that is the fear that actually keeps you bound. Your fear of your emotions is what keeps you stuck in repeating cycles. All right. Here's your card on the bottom, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Earth energy. Why is Earth energy here for Capricorn? Why is Earth energy here for Cap? Why is Earth energy here for Capricorn? Because you're stuck. Eight of Swords. All up in your head. Feeling like you're bound. Got the blindfold on because, again, you can't see the truth. You don't know what the truth is. And it's driving you nuts. And it's just like mentally you're just feeling like you're in a cage. You feel totally trapped. Totally trapped by your earth. By your, you know, earth energy can be like this Taurus energy which can sometimes be stubborn. Not wanting to move being unwilling to move you know that stuck in the mud energy has you stuck ha and your liberation because the devil is the ultimate card of liberation in this tarot deck your liberation is through water landslide okay 
the landslide will bring you down in a good way because it needs to. It, that, that landslide needs to happen. Let the water come in and soak that earth and get it to move. That's your liberation. Your emotions is the path, or that is the path of liberation for you. Okay, Eight of Wands. What is this Eight of Wands? Been waiting. What is the Eight of Wands for Capricorn? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Flew out like the Eight of Wands. Okay, wow, that's the Ace of Pentacles. That's this Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> that's the incoming. That's the incoming. Incoming, new opportunity. Incoming, sustainable, rooted, grounded opportunity. What is this? What is the Ace of Pentacles? What is this new opportunity that's coming in? The lovers. Yeah, it's love. It is the thing you're afraid of. It's the thing you <laughs> fear is this is this love. I'm just laughing because I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. This reading is so intense. It's just like, yep, okay, the thing you fear the most. Um, all the things you're afraid of. Sorry to call you out on that, but all the things you're afraid of, here it all is in the hall of mirrors. And, ugh, it sucks. But, and I, I just, I feel for you. I really do. I feel for you, Cap. This is some crazy craziness and I'm cap rising so I'm I'm right in this crap with you <laughs> here's the lovers it's a choice it's a choice about what is home for your heart who is home for your heart maybe since we have the lovers here this new opportunity is a love situation mm -hmm. it's a love situation and it's communication communication regarding love that comes in quick and strong and that new opportunity in love is that here's that destiny card again it's that wish fulfillment card it is dreams coming true have faith in that you know it's up to you to trust that let's see if we can get a little more about ace of pentacles and the lovers the ace of pentacles and the lovers for cap eight of wands Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't say I'm surprised. First, Judgment Day. Mm hmm. Judgment Day is here. Judgment Day is coming. It's here. It's coming. It's here. This is, um, you know, it's like the rapture. The trumpets sounding and raising what was dead to come back to life. So it could be a resurrection of some sort regarding love. Um, but either way, it is a, it's a big moment of transformation. It's a big, like, the trumpet sounds, now's the time, the, the wands come flying in. It's time for this to adjust. And that, that um, first leads to some heartbreak, letting go of something in order to move on to something else. We have three cups spilled here and this person's grieving there in mourning. There is a loss here. There is a loss, but the birds flying in the distance are calling. I've never heard this in this card. I can literally hear them like cawing. Caw, caw, caw. Cawing in the background telling talking to you telling you over here over here go ahead and mourn what you need to mourn and then follow those birds pick up the cups that are still full behind you two of cups by the way relationship and follow those birds they're trying to lead you here union with another person and look at the rainbows happiness miracles this is miracles it feels like miracles happening the thing that you've maybe convinced yourself isn't true or can't happen or whatever because I keep feeling like have faith have faith have faith like you need faith in order to take this opportunity 
Yeah, miracles are possible here. This is emotional fulfillment. Very, very happy card. Very happy card with this Eight of Wands. So you got a lot coming in with that with that Eight of Wands. Whatever this communication is that's coming in, it's it's causing judgment day. It's causing a big overhaul. There's some letting go. There's some grief, but there's a promise. There's a beautiful, beautiful promise on the other side of that, of Ten of Cups. Wow, Cap. All right, let's get some let's get some other cards for you. So this here is the El Goliath Shadow deck. We talked a bit about shadow energy here, but essentially, not to keep bringing up what you fear, because I already feel like that's been brought up so much in this reading, um, but let's get a card about it. Let's get a card, because that shadow work really is about looking at what you fear, looking at the parts of yourself that you fear, looking at, what, at, at um, things around you that you're afraid to look at. So what is here for shadow energy for Capricorn? This is the card I pulled for you in the Radical Terrascopes reading. Go read that reading. It's really short. Here it is. This is the overwhelmed sea turtle. Cap, this is you. This is you and the, and the iceberg of your emotions cracking and falling into the depths of the ocean and creating a massive tidal wave. So this is the nine of swords in this deck. This is like total mental overwhelm. This is you being up at night. You can feel this tidal wave about to crash. You can feel it coming and you and you don't know what to do. And you're just like up in your head, kind of losing it a little bit. You know, this is like really hard mental energy to be dealing with. This poor sea turtle can't possibly move faster than this tidal wave. Here's the thing, Cap, like beautiful creature of the earth who can also swim turtle you are slow moving you are earth energy you can't move faster than these emotions you cannot escape this tidal wave you cannot escape your emotions this is you know it's coming it's gonna it's gonna it's going to happen. And so this is here from the shadow deck to, to have you say like the best thing you can do right now, feeling this tidal wave coming is to turn around and face it, turn around and look at it. You know, um, this is also a card of like having tough dreams or like nightmares maybe, or being up at night, not being able to sleep. You know how, when you have disaster dreams, like there's a tornado coming or, or a tidal wave coming. I just got the image of you lucid dreaming. Rather than being afraid of this tidal wave in the dream, in the dream, turn around and face the wave and see what happens. That's the energy of this card, facing this fear of your emotions because they're big. Oh my gosh, you have so many emotions. Look at this huge tidal wave. And that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. That's a, it's a lovely thing. Don't be afraid. afraid okay let's get a little octospom and word of advice cheeky word of advice for capricorn please in august what's the advice for cap in august bit of advice here what was that i love this card where we are going we don't need eyes yeah this is really speaking Big time to this reading, Capricorn. You don't need logic for this territory. You need literally everything but that. You need your heart. You need your emotions. Where we are going, we don't need eyes. Where we are going, we need emotions. We need our heart. We need intuition. We, you know, that moon card where it was like, you can't see the truth. The truth is there for you if you stop looking. I think that's the only card that wants to come for you for that. And now, a little botanical tarot wisdom here. I do, I do want to say before I pull 
a card that the high priestess flew out during your pre-shuffle which is again speaking to this where we are going we don't need eyes that priestess is calling that priestess is that deep intuition that intuitive emotional watery moon part of you that priestess is that tidal wave <laughs> calling you priestess is a spiritual awakening an awakening to your intuition all right what's the major arcana advice or guidance here for Capricorn in August 2019 at the time of that Leo new moon okay the world card stuck in my hand here this is the quince I love this card in this deck it's beautiful the world is an ultimate ending this card has been pulled for you in other readings I believe it is the ultimate ending the ending of a massive cycle and also the new beginning, a beginning of a new one. As one fruit has completely ripened to as ripe as it will get, another is about to bloom and start its whole new journey. This card holds that dichotomy of both. So trust, my friend. As a big cycle ends, I'm drawn to, I'm drawn to, I'm drawn to judgment first of all causing something to end as a major cycle is ending go ahead and grieve whatever that is that leaves your life at this time with the realization that when we're at the last cart card of the tarot of the major arcana we start back at the at the first one card zero the fool a new beginning a new beginning where you follow your gut. You take a leap of faith from your gut, from your guidance, from your intuition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, Cap, that has been your reading for the month of August. If this resonated with you, please click that like button. It helps us play the algorithm and make sure that all the Capricorns that are viewing these things on YouTube get to see the videos that they need to see. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That way we'll be able to check in mid-month and see how these energies are playing out for you. Um, if you're enjoying this video and you want to dive deeper, please connect with me. My website is linked down below. I'm happy to offer a personal reading for you so that we can see how this is actually playing out in your specific scenario. Um, so please just um, check the options on my website, contact me, we'll get that set up. Thanks for watching, Cap. Take care of yourself at this time. My heart's with you. I'm right in here with you. And um, good luck as we start August here.